Hi guys, welcome to another episode of our tutorials by Level Ocean Studios. This is Super Sam once again, and in this very episode, I'm going to show you how to play blast your animation in Blender 2.8. So let's get started. Sometimes when you walk, you always want to play blast your animation to see uh, how your animation is. Because if I play this now, I will get my feedback in real time at 24 frames per second. And it's very important for animation so you can get a feel of what your character is actually doing per time. So this is, there's a faster way to do this in Blender without going through rendering the whole scene. So this is what I'm going to uh, address in this very video. The first thing I want you to know is you can come to your settings here and change the resolution of whatever you want to play Blast out. So uh, for now I'm using 30% because I don't want to go for 2K. 2K is just too large for play Blast. And so I'm using 30% uh, here. Then also I can define the range, the start and end frame that I want to play Blast for. And I can also decide on the location where this will be rendered. So before I recorded this very video, I pre-rendered a particular shot, this very shot. So I want you to see what it looks like. And I'm going to show you how to do a new one over that. So you come to the render here and then click on view animation. And this is it. So this was the play blast I did before recording this video. Okay, so now I'm, I'm going to create a new one by switching this back to the uh, basic viewport so you can believe this is real in Blender. And also come to the view, click on the viewport render animation. And once I do that, you can see my shot is being rendered. Okay. So I'm currently on frame 50, 50, 50. Wow, it's really, really running fast. Okay, if you are to render this, I'm sure you can't get this fast pace. And this would help you to get the timing for your animation. And another thing to note is, this is going to replace the previous uh, uh, shot I rendered. You can see here, because I have my override checked on. If the override wasn't checked on, then it's not going to replace it. So quickly, I'm going to skip this so that you can see the transition by the time I play this new one and the old one we have. So escape. I'm escaping at uh, frame 200 and something, I think 218, so I wasn't too sure. But then, by the time I play this, what you're going to see is the new video, the new footage of this uh, basic scene and then the quality ending part. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but let me play so you can make sense out of it. We come to render, then you click on view animation. So this is what we did together in this video. Yeah, and now it snaps back to, you can see, it snaps back to the quality one on frame, on frame 220. So this was when I escaped the, the process of uh, viewport rendering again. Okay, so that's it. And then you can also pause your your play blast anytime you want to. You can see now, now I'm, I'm just clicking on it and I'm scrubbing forward to move frame by frame. And this can help you make some intelligent decisions when you're animating. If you need uh, more arcs in a place, Okay, you need an arc. You can easily do that here. And uh, you can also check out your animation if something is wrong with it easily. Okay, so this helps you to learn how to see animation by frame. And if you hit on the spacebar, you can play on. Hit on the spacebar to pause at any time. So, I think this is what I'm gonna call it a wrap. I'm sure you've learned one of the things from this video. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel, Level Ocean Studios, if you've not done so. And also click on the notification bell in order to get notified every time you upload new videos like this. So until next time, keep your creativity blending.